Subject for today is installation of another operating system and Zima board actually can support many. So let's say that you want to install something else, uh, like Ubuntu Minimal in this case. And why I actually chose this operating system? Because it's easy to install and very easy to use. So first thing that we are going to cover in this episode, it's uh, actually downloading uh, and setting up our USB flash. And in this case, as you see, I have uh, 64 uh, gigabytes uh, USB flash, but 4 gigabytes is going to be enough. Because you bound to minimal installation, it's 2.7 gigabytes. And another thing that we are going to need, it's monitor. But as you know, in some of my previous episodes, I showed you how to use external graphic card in order to get video output. And in this situation, we cannot actually use that solution. In order to get video output, we are going to uh, use this converter. This is mini DP to HDMI converter cable that I'm going to use to get video output to my TV. And of course, let me show you. Second USB port is going to be used for my keyboard. Well, if you understand this part, in next part of this video, I'm going to do downloading of operating system and setting up my USB flash. All right, now navigate to ubuntu.com download server and click on download. Manage your tracker settings if you wish. And as you see, I am already downloading. So I have to wait around uh, half an hour until it's done. So now I'm going to stop with this video and I'm going to continue when this downloading is done. Okay, now we are done with downloading. So I'm going to open my files. You see that we have image of uh, Ubuntu live server. Next thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in my uh, USB flash and I'm going to use a pop cycle uh, USB flasher. So I'm going to choose image first. So you bound to server, open. I'm not going to do any uh, hashing. So next and I'm going to use my Kingston uh, Data Traveler 3.0. And finally, I'm just going to click on next. I'm going to provide my password. And we are flashing. All right, so now we are done. I'm going to close all of this and I'm going to eject my USB flash. It's probably already disconnected. So I'm just going to pull it out and I'm going to put it back in in order to check the result. Okay. We have Ubuntu server installation. Now go out and I'm going to pull it out from my computer. And the next step I have monitor, network cable, power cable, keyboard and my USB flash connected. So first thing that you're going to do uh, after powering up your Zima board, start pressing delete on your keyboard. Now go to boot, go to uh, boot option priorities and make sure that uh, your uh, flash device is selected as first choice. Then go to save and exit, save changes and exit. Yes, and we are good to go. Try to install Ubuntu server, select that one. All right, on the first screen, we are going to uh, select our language. So I'm going to select English. Variant English US is totally fine. I'm going to check done. All right, now we have uh, three options. We can uh, select Ubuntu server. Uh, this is default option with uh, most of packages that you are going to need. I'm going to select uh, this one. And in here you can see that Zima board already figured out my uh, network. So I have IP address. This is good to go. We are not going to use any proxy. We are just testing Miro. And this is totally fine. I can go on and I want to use entire disk. I don't want to use any encryption. And all of this is totally fine. I'm going to press enter once again. Yes, I'm sure that I'm going to continue. 
And now I'm going to create a user account. So KST, that's fine. Server name is server. Username KST. Password. I'm going to use some simple password like. And once more. Okay. Okay, I don't need Ubuntu Pro, at least not for now. Continue. Absolutely open SSH server. I absolutely need this one. Allow password authentication over SSH. That's, that's totally fine. And about keys. What's in here? I can import keys from GitHub. No, I don't want to do that for now. So what else I'm going to need from this list? You can install Docker, Mosquito. Uh, I think I'm not going to take any of this. And we are installing. And we are done. So I'm just going to uh, reboot now. And I'm going to start pressing delete. And as you see now I have to remove my USB flash. All right, let's continue. Okay, we can log in to Ubuntu now. Let's do it. And finally, we are going to log in to our new Ubuntu minimal server. So with KST, with password, Ah, yes, KST and password again. All right, we are in. All right, we are back on my computer and now I'm going to SSH to my Zima board. So SSH KST at uh, my Zima board IP address. Yes, I want to connect password. All right, we are in. So first thing what I want to do now, I want to call NeoFetch. No command, it's not installed. So sudo apt install neo-fetch provide password. All right, we are installing. All right, I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to call neo-fetch. All right, we have our Ubuntu uh, 2404 on our Zima board ready to be used. Uh, so guys, that's how you're going to install new operating system on your Zima board. So I hope that you learned something new, something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya!